All right, now it's time for a new Andrew Loomis figure drawing for all it's worth study guide companion series. And we're into the forward movement of the tip line of balance. He's talking about the theory of uh, depicting forward movement. Um, when you balance a pole on your hand, for instance, like if this was a pole and you, ba you balance on your hand, you, you kind of follow it like that. And uh, if it leads in any direction, um, you move the base in that same direction as it slants and, and the faster it goes, the greater the slant. Um, so it figures in forward movement, um, a line is drawn in the middle forward moving figure if you think of a picket fence uh, slanted and parallel instead of vertical you have a clear idea of the line balance of forward movement and on the following pages there's a series of pictures taken with a fast lens where the motion for the motion picture camera is actually too slow to stop movement for still reproduction and enlargement um, in walking and running, the line of balance remains in constant forward slant as long as the same speed is maintained and tips more as the speed is increased. Change is hard to see and moving arms and legs dis distracts one attention from it at the action. A person must lean forward to take a normal step. The balance is caught by the forward foot. The forward push comes from the foot in the back. Uh, the tip line is uh, maybe placed lightly on your paper on the figure uh, built upon it. Technically, the heel should never be placed directly under the head, but in the back of it to give motion. So I think he's talking about that right there. He goes in. Um, and starts talking about uh, the, the walking motion. And then he, he goes off into cameras and he talks about how important it is to have a camera as a tool, but not as a crutch. And um, how you should save your money for a camera. But today we have these phones, we have iPads, and we have, we really have great tools at our disposal that they didn't have back then but he says don't don't use it as a crutch let's like saying like don't trace pictures or don't use that just use it as a starting point and the vital quality to have your drawing is the spirit of movement you cannot be a successful artist if you remain seated in your chair nor can your drawings be successful if the figures you draw remain static and um, the solution is not easy now here he talks about uh, warning, you know, if you're drawing a uh, a group of people together all walking, unless they're soldiers, they all need to be looking different. An interesting action derives from contrast. Um, here he talks about the trick is you must learn in order to capture the pose that you can otherwise be obtained for like a falling figure in midair. Um, he talks about how to do that. Uh, do just do a lot of experimenting from your imagination. <clears throat> and here's um, the snapshots of walking. And you know, you, you don't really see a forward movement from this angle. It kind of looks like forward movement for here from the torso, but it, it just looks like it's it's almost this pose right here. Most represent looks like, yeah, this pose looks like this pose. And here he says, remember arms move opposite to legs. Back foot does not leave ground until front foot is planted. Arms pass hips at the same time as knees pass. Hip is higher on one side. So he's talking about a lot of, a lot of stuff here. Um, he talks about making thumbnails. 
So remember, arms move opposite of legs. So this arm goes back, back goes forward. So whatever's going opposite, it always look awkward unless you're Neil Adams. You can do that flawlessly. In the previous chapter, um, he's talking that uh, these drawings on are drawn on this Bainbridge Coquill Two, and I tried to find the paper, and what it gave me was this. It's called stipple paper, and this paper will give me this texture. So I'm going to be using this, and I'm just going to do a couple drawings for this video, keep this kind of short, and then uh, we'll see how it comes along. So, so I really like this. So let's go ahead and And I'm going to be using this chalk. So let's try this here. So I have a slant. And I'm not going to use a grid. So let's go let's check this out and see how this works. Jesus Christ died for me. So <clears throat> this is not the way he would do it. He would use something like this with a sharper point, but I'm not good at having sharp points. So I'm just going to like do a mix, mix it up. Most likely he did this all with one swoop. I mean, I gotta, I gotta fudge it around. And he like take his, this side right here. But like I said, I can't, I can't do that with these pencils. Let's try this one. No, I can't do it. Do better with this.
in there. It's like, that's that. And you got your ear. So there's our forward slant. Let's see here. There is our forward slant going in that direction. 